Well, okay. So you produce it, so the song comes out, so you hear the snippet, mm -hmm. you're going crazy. Now, what do you see? So are you telling that you're telling everybody, you're telling everybody, you're tagging yourself, you're going crazy? Well, I ain't even got to tell nobody now. They, they oh, know they, my tag everybody already. Knew. So everybody, At that point, everybody was sending it to you. Yeah, everybody knew. They was tagging me, like, yo, just congratulating me and just saying, like, yeah, whatever they felt like they had to say, they were just, they tagging me. So, so, okay. So now what is, and who who's on it? It was just Drake and... Giggs. He from, like, UK. Okay, so Boogie wasn't, Boogie, does Boogie have a Drake feature? Mm-mm. But they t they talked about doing like a collab a while ago, which just it never it just, happened. It just didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. So at the point, you're the only person in the camp who did who worked with Drake. Mm -hmm. What what is what is and you? How did you meet the person who liaisoned it? Like, was the QP introduce you to them? No, he reached out through Instagram because he saw your stuff. Mm -hmm. So he he reached out to you, mm -hmm. wanted to work with you. So you got the the Drake feature. You got yeah. the Drake song done yourself. Mm -hmm. And what was so? What was the the label's reaction? What was everybody saying to you? I remember this because I was actually at their crib in Jersey, and everybody else. There's like a there's like an attic room where they had the studio where everybody would be at smoking, playing the music. Um, and I think I was in the kitchen. Yeah, I think I was in the kitchen, or I, I just came into the house and I went upstairs to tell them like, "Yo, I got Drake on the beat," like because they didn't know either. Well, they didn't. They didn't know. I knew, so I went upstairs to tell them. It was like, it was like happy for me. Like, yo, that's crazy. Like, yeah. So that's how it happened. I was just, I was just letting them know that I got this, this placement. And so the uh, the gang was happy for you. Yeah, y'all going crazy. Pop a bottle or something. No, nah, I wasn't into that. I was, I was just smoking their roaches. <laughs> Why was you smoking the roaches? Man? Cause I'm, a, I'm a college kid. Like, I'm. I'm barely making it, so they had they roaches be like the size of my finger. I'm, I was happy to go to the crib. I'm like, wait, why you just ain't? Wait, why you just ain't? Wait, oh, they wasn't. Why you just ain't? They ain't, they wouldn't give you the bud. You went. No, they they were smoking me. They were smoking me up. But like when I first go into their crib, like I'm not about to ask like, yo, y'all can roll up for me. So I just go upstairs where they just leave them big ass roaches, and I will be like, yeah. I'm cooking up because like we didn't have no personal connection connection for me to feel comfortable. Be like, yo, can y'all roll something for me? So I'll just go upstairs. So there would be days you was over there broke. Not, not broke because I got the five k from the advance and I wasn't spending on nothing crazy. Like I was just like, because at that time once I got that advance, like I was still I was still in school and like I was yeah certain swipes at the cafeteria. So it was like I don't need to spend too much money. Like only time I spend it. If so I you preserved your you were good yeah. with saving your money. I made it work. I made that five thousand work for a year. You made the five thousand work for a year. Yeah, you made the five k that they gave you work for a year. A year, <laughs> yo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yo. Nah, yo. That's yo. See, you made six hundred dollars a month. Yo, bro. That's yo. Mm -hmm. What is five? What is five k? Is that? That's like two months of rent. So I don't know how. Yo, five k. Nah, I was in the dorm room, so like, oh, I, yeah. Okay. Bro. So you definitely don't go out with drinks. Yeah, I mean, I I did, but it was like. Five dollars, like I wasn't going like every night, and like I, I used to just wear the same clothes. I had like clothes from high school that I could still fit. I would just wear those. Only time I buy new stuff is like if I'm going out the club with them. Like I ain't gonna wear like my high school clothes with them. I'm trying to look yeah, up to par with them. So I was so getting designer get and all that. That's the only reason I'll be spending money. Okay, so, so and at this point. But this is 2018. This is when things are lit. Like they got they they up at this point. They've been up. They were up up at this point. Yeah, they're up up. Yeah. And so yeah, and you're still living off the five thousand though. Mm. And at no point did you ever say like, "Yo, is there a way I could?" Did they know your financial? Did they know that they didn't pay you? Like, did they know there was you wasn't getting any money? How, like how how would, did you make it? Like did I didn't make it? Like yo, I'm not getting paid. But like during the like when I was talking about business, like how my lawyers like that's how they would know. Like my lawyers not contacting me back. Like she's taking months when this song already dropped, and it's like I still ain't get no paperwork. And I ain't get no contract for the song yet. So it's like I didn't say, oh, I'm I ain't getting no well, money. The song would drop, and you didn't have the paperwork yeah, or the contract. No paperwork, nothing yet. Like it would, it would be 
it'd be taking so long and I'd be reaching out and reaching out and reaching out and then after a while it's like nobody keep reaching out. Like it's just I'm just wasting. And the song energy. will be out getting spins already. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to I'm honestly here trying to I'm trying to land here because yeah. I'm trying to like this is such a this plane is so crazy. All right. Yeah, it's, but it's like I, I so get it though. They, they didn't. They couldn't do nothing about that. But like, try to reach out to her. Just like because a lot of it was. Oh boy. Okay. So let me ask you this. So at at any point were you? Dang, I wish. Okay. They selling beats. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. Were you selling beats on the side too? Nah. See, that's the thing. Like. And maybe this could be the reason why the situation was how it is. Like, just the way I go about my beats. Like, I don't want to just sell them to anybody. Like, I want to make sure the person I'm, I'm giving them to is going to do justice on that beat because I took so much time to make this beat special. Like, so I want that person to add that to my beat as well. I don't care, like, like if that money, that person got a lot of money and they just want to be on the beat, like, like, so you was turning down sales for beats. Yeah, it's like I rather like I, I so want. You, but you so you can't really. But you can't say that they wasn't feeding you and you was turning down money. Nah, they that wasn't coming from them. That was coming from just the things I, I accomplished like the Drake yeah, no, and stuff like that. Yeah, I do get. Oh, you saying the money you was making wasn't coming from them though? Yeah, it was just like, like all the outside opportunities, like the Drake, the Kodak, like those came from like. My work, it's like our work with Boogie. It's not like they said, "Yo, this is my boy, this is my producer Ness." Like it wasn't like that. It was just based on what I did with Boogie, and they liked my beats. So they are you saying they gave you? You felt like they gave you no promotion or marketing? Yeah, only when I asked, like, like I would, t- I would ask them, "Yo, could you post me on a like, Boogie story or a like, page?" Like they would do that. QP would do that sometimes. So I, res- I really appreciated when he did that, cause like that always brought so much more people to my page and stuff like that, but I had to ask for that stuff. You said you just felt like there was a genuine disconnect between yeah, you and like I don't. Them. I felt like I was doing too much. Like, I feel like I, didn't, I shouldn't have to ask to get a certain amount of support if I'm doing so much for y'all. It's like, I feel like I was just... Were you hoping mix and master the songs too? Nah, no? I wasn't just doing that. Just the beats, yeah. Okay. Okay. And so would you, and then, so let's, so w- at one point, and so are you letting them, you say, so you're driving over to the house, you're making beats, mm-hmm. you're smoking the clips, yeah. you're go- locking in the room, yeah. and they would be outside the room doing whatever, and then you would just be like, yo, I got some beats done, I'm out, every day? No, it would just be, it's different every day, like, I go to their crib, the first thing I'm doing, like, I say what's up, but I'm still not that comfortable with them, because... I'm different than them, so they they judge me and all that stuff. So it's like I still don't feel too comfortable with them. So it's like, like what's good, y'all? And then I go straight to my comfort zone where it's just upstairs where the beats. I just make beats. That's what made me comfortable at their house. Like, it wasn't like I can't. Oh, be so when combo. everybody would be chilling around, yeah, you I, was like, I, you yeah. would go up to the studio, more. yeah, because I wasn't comfortable. It's like they talk about things I don't really want to talk about, like things I haven't lived. So it's like I feel like I. Would out the loop. Yeah. So I just went upstairs to the beats and I was smoking them clips and I was like, I don't need to be talking to nobody. Like but to be fair too, though, they, they never said like, yo, you got to go upstairs. You can't be. Yeah. Here. They never, they never said that. Yeah. Okay. So then, so you would, so you would, you went upstairs and you would go up there and make the beats mm-hmm. while they downstairs mac and chilling. And then they, w- they end up coming up just like to hear what I'm, what I'm creating and stuff like that. And like, then I feel comfortable because it's like, now you, you want to know what I'm doing. So, like now I feel comfortable to talk and I'm already just yeah, I've just been cooking up so I'm already comfortable in the energy in that that space in that or that room. Mm. And then so y'all would be basically chilling in the stew and then you would pretty much what, then you would leave at the end of the night kind of thing? Or sometimes you would stay over? Yeah, sometimes I, I I stayed over a few times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so and then base but basically on daily you would just make beats over there and then just li- leave pretty much. But yeah. you didn't have to turn any beats in. No, it's no like I gotta turn a beat in. It's just like me just cooking up just because I want to cook up, and like the artist be there, boogie Don be there, and so like if they come upstairs and they like a beat, we'll work on something. If the engineer Moise is there, 
And yeah, like another thing was like they used to be with like all their friends, so you know they they all asking on the low like, "Yo, Ness, I need a beat. Like, I need a beat." And I'm just like, I ain't trying to be saying no to everybody and looking like the bad guy because at that time I felt like I wasn't in in tune myself enough to just be firm like, "Nah, I don't, I don't want to send you no beat." Like, cause I'm looking at them as oh, these street dudes. They're gonna be looking at me a certain way, so I'm like feeling. Just all these pressure. ways, so like so yeah, you, I feel pressure you felt to, pressure to, to get them beats. You would feel pressure to give beats, and you yeah. would basically give beats to people you didn't want to give beats to. Yeah. And how did that make you feel? I mean, at the moment, it's like uncomfortable and stuff like that. But I didn't hold on to it for too long. I I get past it. And what do you, and so. Okay, so you're making the beats, you're turning up. So when did when do you feel like things are going left? Like, what's changing? What made things change? It was random. Like, I just felt like even more distance. It was like when he dropped Hoodie Season and he dropped some international project. He had, like, international artists on it. It's called International Artists. It's like I wasn't on those tapes, and I was the only producer sign. So that's when I was just like, Start questioning things like so. Wait, wait, wait. International. Wait, what's the what project drop? Which project uh, drop first? International artists. International artists. And drop. then hoodie season. And then hoodie season. Yeah. And the international artists. I can understand why you wouldn't be yeah. on. Maybe. And then, but hoodie season. Hoodie season is, is back to the bag, and mm -hmm. that's when you're like, wait, hold on, something's going on here. I like that for both, cause it's like, it's just it's beats. Like, I can make beats in an artist that's. Not from the U.S. could hop on it like, yeah. I can I can make all type of beats. So it's just me questioning like, why are you not going to your producer? And like what you were saying earlier, like I get they trying different things and going to different producers, but it's like, why not go to home base? Why pay, be paying Metro? However, like I don't know the the situation with all these other producers because they started working with like, Muster on the beat like Metro, like Sunny Digital, all these big producers. And it's like kind of forgot about me. Like, I, I felt like they were just trying to work with all those big producers, like the Scott Storches and all them, like, and they kind of forgot about me. And, like, they didn't even try to introduce me into none of, none of them. And Metro was my favorite producer. And, like, I asked them, like, yo, can you introduce me to them? Because they, they started working with him more. Like, the bigger artist, he had, like, two songs produced by Metro. Like, Get To Me, and it was some other song produced by Metro. I was just trying to, I wanted to meet him. That was my favorite producer. He's, they was like, Yo, we're going to introduce you. It was just a lot of like, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this for you. And then it don't happen. So I'm just like, not, I, I started learning not to expect nothing from them. You feel like they didn't fulfill a lot of times they would say. Yeah, they would say a lot of stuff like, yeah, I'm going I'm to hook you up with this person and hook you up with this person. And like they'll forget. And at this time, is the money at least? And then you're saying there's no, all you stand with all the fi same 5000 yeah, and the the advances for like the Patty Cake songs, like the the Kodak songs, the Drake songs, the P and B songs. Like, I'm getting the money from the advances, but not the royalties yet. Like the royalties already coming once I noticed like the change, in like like the international artists and the hoodie season. Like that's when I started trying to go outside of the camp to figure out like how to get money. That's when you started, like, all right, that's well, when I started realizing, this is not, like, yeah. all right, this is, and I got to start getting my own. Yeah, because I start, because Instagram, you see but it, But 